Hello friends, welcome to SQL Server tutorial. In the previous videos, we created partition function, we created file groups and we created partition scheme. That means all the moving parts are ready for the table partition and in this video we will perform table partition using partition function as well as partition scheme. Alright, now we will directly go to the demo and create a partition. So we will close the window. We already created this scheme. So in Adventure Works database, we already cloned the table and we will use this table to create a partition. So in the last sub-series, we saw how to use compression. Now we are going with the table partition. So click on this create partition. So here you can read the create partition wizard. Here if you read the welcome screen, the wizard helps you partition an existing table in our database so the table what we are going to partition here is person we copied that from uh, person schema to dbo schema so uh, select column on which you want to perform your table you, you want to partition your table i mean here we will pick business entity id so based on that specific uh, column we will perform partition then we can select partition function and scheme we already created these two entities so we can make use of this object then map your partition to file group and specify a range value so after doing all this create a script or run immediately this time we will uh, choose the run immediate option or if you need we can create the uh, script also that will help in understanding the tsql so if you want to run immediately you can do that here but if you want to perform partition on a different machine or if you want to keep that as part of a, a build script or maintenance script then you can generate the partitioning script using this wizard itself all right now we will proceed so here if you see it shows all the column for which we can do the partition and person type if you see n care so just looking for n care first name middle name last name so those are all not displayed so in our previous videos we saw what are all the data type that is allowed to partition and here also you can see the wizard is suggesting only seven columns so we will pick business entity id and based on that we can perform the partition now we will move ahead select a partition function so if you want you can create new partition function but uh, this time here we are using the existing partition function we have only one partition function so we are picking that here next partition scheme we have only one scheme that is listed here if there are many schemes you can pick that here so we picked a what column 
based on business entity id we want to perform partition and we picked the partition function so the wizard will send this id i mean business entity id to our partition function and gets the uh, partition group suggestion the scheme will help in uh, linking the uh, partition function with the groups so now we will click next and if you see because of the partition group i mean the partition scheme here we are getting all the available option so by default it is showing person g1 g2 g3 g4 and these are all the boundary condition so all this stuff we specified in the i mean boundary condition we specified in the partition function and file group association we gave it in the partition scheme so the wizard already populated that and we can simply accept it and go with the next so if you need you can create script or you can run it immediately so instead of using the script here we will use run immediately option and we will click next you can review the configuration here and go ahead with the, the partition creation so let me click finish here that's all so the partition is done now if we start adding the data or modify it will be done in a separate uh, uh, disk or a separate ndf file so that's all we are done with the partition so now the table data is split into four different secondary database file and if you see the size also got changed and that's all here in this video Thank you for watching. Bye.